the streets. We work it. Working this city exclusively on Streets 94. Five. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. All right, y'all know we can always depend on Twitter and Instagram for updates on Keisha Cole and Booby's relationship. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Can't wait, can't wait. All right, well, we do have an update. Keisha Cole was spotted in the club with a mystery boo uh, holding hands. We kind of know who it is. I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> I mean, his, his, back is, his back is to the camera, but if you... Is he skinny? You About live five, here. ten, drop. You know who it is. Clean. You know Likes who it do is. say a lot. <laughs> Likes to pop bottles. Y'all can compound. figure it out. Atlanta socialites. So I'm happy for her. I guess they look happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A promoter claims that Real Housewives Atlanta Portia was a no-show to an event and still pocketed the $4,000 that she got paid for, which wouldn't be a surprise. Just remember, I talked about how someone said she was uh, using food stamps yeah. to get cereal and stuff. Well, how much? Four thousand. Oh, okay. The promoter uh, tells TMZ she hired her to make a four-hour appearance. Appearance, but oh, Portia wow. did not show up until 20 minutes before the event was over. She got paid the two thousand up front, but demanded the two thousand even though she showed up at the very end of the event. And the police Need were that called. Back in, <laughs> well, well, she's a new celeb. She don't know how it works. So well, she, she got in. the two thousand dollar check cut when the police were called, but she put a stop payment on the check and wants the other two thousand back. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some good news. Big Mill, he does good in the hood. Kicks off first annual Dream Chasers Thanksgiving. He aims to feed nearly 600 families within the Philly community, taking place Tuesday and Wednesday, November 26th and 27th. The mayor is also behind him on that. He'll be there and other special guests. The mayor says, I applaud Big Mill for taking the initiative to give back to his hometown. So that's very dope. Nope. Dennis Graham. Y'all know him, that's Aubrey's daddy, Drake's daddy. He has some things to say about Drake. Uh, he says, my favorite song from him right now is Hold On, We're Going Home, because it was a song that he always wanted to release. And as far as Drake having a baby, he says he's not ready yet. He's having way too much fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't say. <laughs> yeah, right? Pass it to me, son. <laughs> Wu Tang Forever, uh, the song, a Drake album, a yeah. remix is coming out. Lots of verses on that. He's not giving a date or dropping any names on it. I'm assuming that it's somebody from Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> I would just assume. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a, maybe one. I think it'll be or other two. people too. Or two or three. I think it'll be nice with Method Man on there. Right. The Rizzo on there. All right. So next, Yo Gotti spills the beans on who this girl is that caused the divide between him and Gucci Man. I got that coming up next. How late season live? Three ninety four five. Thanks to music. Live radio. All right. Yo Gotti and Gucci Man kind of fell out. Well, they didn't kind of. They did. They did. A little bit. Uh, a while back, but it was it because was because of the Twitter rant. No, well, it was no, over the, the song. The, the, well, it was over uh, the his mixtape dropping the same time, his album dropped the same day, or something like that. Well, it started because he didn't put on a remix. That's what it, that's what they were saying. Well, I and heard now, it was something else that well, yeah. had a big booty <laughs> and uh, yeah. a lipstick it line. All, it always is a big booty, light skin chick, middle of people, but not how they stick. Y'all strong. Nah, he like big girls. I, I'm not into big girls. <laughs> I love big girls. Shout out to right. big girls. Like <laughs> Yo Gotti is speaking out about it. He says it was Keisha Dior that actually came between them. He was seeing her for a little while and Gucci wasn't, <laughs> wasn't too happy about that. And did y'all know that? Man, yeah, come on. Did, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. Gucci love Keisha, but. <laughs> well, well, I do that. Like, for whatever reason, he's definitely, she's the one that he always, you know, <laughs> and he remember he apologized to her on Twitter when he went on that rant about everybody. He was like, she was like the only one, the only female. Like, oh, okay. Keisha, Keisha right that, man. Well, she rode over to Yo Gotti for a second. Well, I'm you know, I mean. Back. <laughs> yeah, you know. Ain't oh. no fun. All right, well, there's the real reason, y'all. And if you missed any of the news tonight, Street 94.5, ATL.com. But mostly about the music. Right. <laughs> just play right. Just clean up a little bit. <laughs> hey, man. We live in this life right here. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> 3945, and that is the hip-hop station, A-Town. That was Brooke with the news. And I got to let you know about the biggest party on a Friday night after, you know, you eat your turkey and your dressing and you want to, you know, get a couple calories off. Man, make sure you come in the club and dance and turn up and 
you know, dance with some furniture and all that good stuff. Myself, I will be on the ones and twos, and so will DJ Know what I'm talking about. Hard on Nights Tour went Courtney Street downtown. Shout out to everybody who came through last week for my birthday extravaganza um, second part of my birthday party thing. It was crazy. Shout out to Ode the Juice, uh, Verse Simmons, Cap One, uh, Big Crit. Everybody was in that. And DJ Champ rocked it. Uh oh. Uh oh. DJ Champ, Champ rocked it. Hey, six. I ain't talking about rocked it. I threw him in the water, dude. Also, I was passed out, wasted, and I was just on the mic, just talking crazy, and I was making him play music. So he did a good job. Oh, I know you ain't never gonna set him up with the easy, the nah, easy nah. layup. That was, that, be. Was, that, was a, that was the ultimate Jedi Knight trick jump off joint right there. That's so I appreciate up. my brother. Uh, Nap time. There's some DJs out there that can rock. Congratulations. In West out here. And DJ Champ is in there. <laughs> Trees 945, that's me, Hip Hop Station. Coming up next. We're going to take over. Ferrari is about to come in here, give us a topic. Hopefully it's good, and we're going to talk about it and converse and go back and forth. You can call up and talk to us. Follow us on Twitter, at streets 945 ATL. About it, man. Y'all keep it locked at streets 945. Don't change that dial. for see, boy. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holiday.